Our next speaker, Gloria Workman, will speak specifically to mental health treatment and suicide prevention among veterans. The VA has identified preventing veteran suicide as their highest clinical priority and embraced a comprehensive public health approach to reduce suicide. Dr. Workman is leading many of these efforts in her role as the Deputy Director of Research and Evaluation Suicide Prevention for the Office of Mental Health and Suicide Prevention at the Veterans Health Administration. She is a clinical psychologist with a background in community psychology and suicide prevention, as well as implementation science, and she was previously responsible for developing and implementing suicide prevention initiatives at the Department of Homeland Security. Dr. Workman? Thank you, Catherine. Good afternoon to all. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Today I'll be covering with you the VA's suicide prevention efforts. And um, I would like to say that the views that I share with you are my own and not necessarily those of the VAs. In terms of um, beginning, I'd like to share with you some important uh, figures and highlight those. Nearly 45,000 people die by suicide annually, including more than 6,000 veterans. There are veteran, our veterans are actually a higher risk group than non-veterans. The rate of suicide for of female veterans is 1.8 times higher than for non-veteran females. Similarly, the rate of suicide for male veterans is 1.4 higher than non-veteran males. Within the VA, within the veteran population rather, male veterans, younger male veterans ages 18 to 34, experience the highest rate of suicide. However, uh, older veterans, ages 55 and older, have the highest count for suicide, in part because we find the largest number of veterans in this older cohort. The majority, 69% approximately, of veteran suicide deaths result from a firearm injury. It's important to be able to recognize suicide risk in the veteran population. And risk factors known um, to put uh, veterans at higher risk include a previous suicide attempt, experiencing mental health concerns, as well as substance abuse, access to lethal means, a recent loss of family or friends, or even colleague at work, struggling with legal or financial problems, relationship issues, or unemployment and homelessness. The goal of the VA is to minimize those risk factors and to boost the protective factors. Protective factors include access to mental health, having a sense of connectedness with family, friends, and the community, being able to, pro to problem solve when issues occur, having a sense of spirituality, a purpose in life, or a mission, good health as well as employment. I'd like to talk for a moment now about the public health approach. You've heard about this with other speakers. The VA also uses a comprehensive public approach to suicide prevention, and in this approach, the framework has us beginning with the question of where does the problem begin? And this helps us to identify where we will target our efforts. How can we prevent it from occurring in the first place? Suicide prevention is a shared responsibility and suicide prevention can be helped by all. We're reaching out to our families of the veterans as well as building community engagement and trying to change the conversation around suicide. The 
VA is using a public health approach, sorry for the slides going back and forth, uh, that is, has been developed by the National Academy of Medicine. And this is a three-tiered approach with interventions being uh, categorized into three buckets. The universal approach it includes prevention strategies that are designed to reach all veterans. The selective uh, suicide prevention interventions are designed to reach that subgroup of veterans who have been identified as having increased risk. And finally, the indicated suicide prevention strategies are designed for, uh, suicide, uh, for veterans who are known to be at high risk for suicide. Examples of some of the innovative universal practices that the VA has uh, implemented include the Mayor's Challenge, which uh, was discussed earlier. Uh, we are assisting and supporting uh, 24 cities in developing and implementing site-specific public health strategies to address suicide prevention. We've also partnered with uh, Psych Armor to offer a free online training on suicide prevention. This training uh, provides users with general information and understanding of suicide, learning on how to identify a veteran at risk for suicide, and then what action to take when one identifies a veteran who is at risk. Other important innovations and strategies that the VA is implementing is make the connection. In this uh, intervention, which is provided online, you will see veterans telling their story. And this is important to know because understanding our veterans will help us to be able to uh, address their needs in a, in a more targeted way. Another intervention is coaching into care. And I'm really, uh, proud of this particular intervention. This is for uh, family members, caretakers, friends, anyone who would like to improve the way in which they support veterans who they believe are at risk for suicide. Another intervention, and this is uh, a selective intervention for veterans who are at some risk for suicide includes uh, improving uh, lethal means safety. The VA is training providers in lethal means safety counseling. And safe storage is important because building in time and space between the impulse to harm oneself and the means to do so increases the likelihood of a veteran surviving. The VA wants to educate veterans and their families about safe storage of guns in a way that is really consistent with each veteran's values and priorities. What the research tells us is that reducing access to suicide methods that are highly lethal is a proven strategy for decreasing suicide rates. Other strategies that we're using for veterans that have been identified at high risk in the indicated category are what is referred to as the REACH Vet. This is a predictive analytic uh, program that provides VA uh, clinicians with information about veterans at high risk. This enables the provider to speak with the veteran and to develop a tailored treatment plan and also provide enhanced veteran care. In addition, the VA, through the MIREC uh, group, which is listed there, the website, offers for clinicians, both VA clinicians and non-VA clinicians, free consultation for any provider working with a veteran on if they have questions about assessment, risk management, or treatment. In addition, uh, the same group, the MIREC group at the VA, offers the toolkit for therapeutic risk management of suicidal patients. The VA has adopted a national strategy for preventing veteran suicide. You heard um, Dr. McKeon referencing this. 
our uh, national strategy aligns with the 2012 National Strategy for Suicide Prevention and consists of 14 goals. This framework allows us to identify our priorities and to organize our efforts. In terms of leveraging the public health approach, suicide is a public health concern, but it is preventable, and you've heard that today. And the VA's public health approach to suicide uses prevention strategies across multiple sectors to reach veterans where they live, work, and thrive. What we know is that no single factor causes suicide, and no single program or agency can end veteran suicide. It takes a team of community partners to prevent suicide. And the VA is partnering uh, outside of the VA because approximately 20 million, there are approximately 20 million veterans, but only 6 million veterans receive um, VA mental health care. So it's important that we reach out into the community so we can amplify our message and reach other veterans. When working with veterans, it's important to be able to identify warning signs. Warning signs are caused from concern. If a veteran is expressing hopelessness, um, un, um, mood swings, um, increased agitation, anxi anxiety, they're not having um, restful sleep, um, they're voicing that there's no reason to live, there's an onset of increased anger or rage, or they're withdrawing from family or friends. This is cause for concern. However, if the following symptoms or signs are present, it really uh, should cause uh, result in action. These include looking for ways to kill oneself, talking about death or dying, uh, engaging in self-destructive behavior, such as carelessly handling weapons. You've seen this number before. If you don't have this number in your um, speed dial on your phone, I recommend that you do. It's helpful to have it there. Just want to uh, reemphasize the Making the Connection um, website that provides information about veterans. They're telling their story. It really helps. Uh, listeners to understand the perspective of a veteran who might be in crisis. The coaching to care is for family members, caretakers who want to be able to help and support veterans. The Psych Armor provides that free online training on how to help a veteran and take action when it's needed. And I'll end with uh, just reviewing the community provider toolkit that is available that emphasizes military culture and ways to more effectively work with veterans in suicide prevention. <laughs> 